Hi, my name is Ryan Hunter with SCE Gaskets, and today we're going to be talking about the surface finishes on heads and, cyl and cylinder blocks as it relates to the different kinds of head gaskets that you may want to use. We'll discuss the surface finish for a composite head gasket, a multi-layer steel head gasket, all the way to a solid copper head gasket. So let's get into it and uh, measure some of these surfaces. Anytime we're talking about surface finish for a head gasket, the first thing we need to do is verify that the deck surface or the cylinder head surface is flat. And what we want to do is get yourself, you really need to get a machinist uh, straight edge. These things are available at summitracing.com. Set the edge on lengthwise on the block or the cylinder head that you're measuring and make sure that you're no more than four thousandths out of flat lengthwise or no more than two thousandths out of flat across at any position on the block or the head. What we've got here is a semi-finished block that we pur purchased from summitracing.com. We know that the block is not perfect yet for our needs. We need to do the finish hone and we need to perfect the deck height. But so that we know exactly you're clear about what the surface should be when you get it, let's measure this block surface. What I've got here is a profileometer. It's a surface roughness tester. And what it does is give us a numerical value of the surface roughness. There's been a lot of discussion since the MLS had gaskets came out about surface finish as it relates to the different kind of gasket. Well, an MLS gasket requires a much finer surface finish than most other types of gaskets. So let's see what we've got here on this block. In this position, we're measuring a 57 RA. So we can go to a different position on the block and find out what that may be. Just so that you're sure about what you've got. So let me find a flat spot here. Now in that position, we show a 59 RA, roughness average. In this position, we show a 31 RA. And if you can take a look, a close look here, you can see that there's a difference in the surface finish, I can feel it with my fingernail here. Whereas there's a different machine pass here. This is a much smoother surface finish and if you do the fingernail test, you can tell there's a, quite a bit of difference. Again, this is a semi-finished block, but we don't want to make mistake that this is ready for any kind of head gasket. This would be slightly too rough for most MLS head gaskets. It would be acceptable for some copper head gaskets, some composite gaskets, but it is not acceptable for an MLS head gasket. Okay, we've talked about the surface finish on the block. We've looked at that. Let's look at the roughness average on this cylinder head. Now, roughness average, what does that mean? It is an arithmetic average that gives us a numerical value for the distance, the average, between the highest of peaks and the lowest of the valleys on any surface. So, it's, it's simply that, it's an arithmetic average, and it's sometimes, in the old days, it was referred to as AA, but today it's referred to as roughness average. average. So again, let's test this cylinder head. Much better surface. This is a 36 RA, and if we take a close look, we can see the difference in the surface finish of a 36 versus something closer to 60. Now there's another head here that's prepared properly for an MLS head gasket, and this is a Dart Pro 1 for an LS. This is a very, very nice cylinder head, ready for an MLS head gasket. So if we do the test on it, find a flat spot here with the roughness tester, hit the button, and this gives us a 22 RA. Now, you can probably see the difference in a 22 from a 36 to closer to a 60. At the 60 RA, we can feel the roughness in our fingernail. Over here, beginning to go away, but barely there. On a 22, there's almost no evidence 
of machining peaks and valleys with the old fingernail test. So that helps you get a visual as to what the different surface finishes would be like in a visual. Now you can kind of compare what a 60 versus a 30 or a 36 versus a 22 may look like. In a minute, we're gonna show you a, an extreme, about a 12 or 15 RA, very, very smooth. Okay, so what we've done now, I, re I remember I referred to a 12 to 15 RA. We've measured this billet crankshaft, which is a really high dollar piece. Uh, and the, the journals on this crankshaft, uh, according to the profileometer, give us a 15 RA. Most of you who are assembling engines will have these things in your shop where you're working on the engine. You've got a block, you're gonna have a head, you're gonna have a crankshaft. So to give you, again, to give you another visual on what 15 RA looks like, there it is. That's a 15 RA. Again, this is about a 22, 23 RA. And then over to the block, we've got about a 60 RA finish. So there's a good visual that you can use to compare when we have all these discussions about what's a RA finish, what does it look like? Now you can begin to quantify what your surface finishes need to be for a certain type of head gasket. Next, we're gonna talk specifically about the head gaskets and what each type of head gasket really wants to see. Okay, so we've discussed what the, surf the surface finishes look like between the different RA values from the 60, to the 20, to the even the 15 on the crankshaft. Now, what we needed to talk about is what each head gasket really wants to see. What's the optimum surface finish for the different kinds of head gaskets? And we'll start out with a composite style head gasket. Here we have a, a graphite gasket with a steel core. Then there's another kind of a composite gasket. Both of these gaskets will work equally well on surface finishes as rough as 100 RA. Now they have a lower limit. Composite gaskets don't really like to see a super smooth surface finish because the, the gasket doesn't tend to bite the surface and you can actually have leak paths if you have a surface finish that say was like our crankshaft at a 15 RA. That might actually be too, too smooth for a composite gasket. So on a composite gasket, anything under 100 RA, uh, as smooth as about a 30 RA would be fine. The copper gasket, on the other hand, will withstand surface finishes in a very, very wide range, primarily because it's a malleable metal. Uh, it will form, it'll conform to the, the mill uh, marks on the block and the head. Uh, the copper is quite malleable. It's softer than either of the metals that it's facing. And this is true for both the solid copper, the embossed solid copper, which is a much, much thinner gasket, 20 thousandths thick, and the ICS Titan gasket, which includes the seals and the combustion seal. Now, moving to an embossed steel gasket, these gaskets were quite popular in the 50s and 60s and still used a uh, tremendous uh, amount of these are used today in stock eliminator gasket or engines because they're quite thin. Uh, they don't require any modification to the blocker head, uh, and they're very, very strong. Now, this gasket, as we can tell, from softer to harder, this is harder, of course, than the copper gasket, and, and uh, commensurately, it's going to require a much smoother surface finish. So on the embossed steel, you can go from about a 60 to a 30 um, in, in that range, and you could go smoother. It doesn't really, it's not going to harm this gasket at all to go smoother. At the end of the line, what we've got is the MLS head gasket. Now this is the hardest gasket body material of any of the gasket types. Consequently, it requires the smoothest surface finish. The reason is that the, the metal core, the gasket body, is not going to deform at all. So any surface roughness, for example, like this 60 RA finish on this block, would uh, affect this gasket negatively by scrubbing off the uh, coating that's, that's on the gasket that forms the coolant seals. So from composite to multi-layer steel gaskets, what you'll see is the difference from all the way up to a 100 RA, which is quite rough as we've seen, to a multi-layer steel gasket, which really prefers 
Uh, in our case, the multi-layer steel gasket will seal up to a 60 RA. We would prefer to see it smoother, all the way down to that 15 RA that we showed you on the crankshaft. So the different kinds of head gaskets want to see a different kind of surface finish. It's extremely important when you're using a multi-layer steel head gasket that you get the, ga the gasket finish properly done. As we saw in the case of the, the Dart Pro 1, uh, cylinder head for the LS. That was perfectly done for an MLS type gasket. So there you have it. Those are the surface finishes and the types of gaskets for each surface finish. And I hope this was helpful. All of this product is available to you, by the way, at summitracing.com.